Joseph Farah, an evangelical Arab-American founder of the widely read WorldNetDaily.com, has won favor with the Jewish community. His address at Toronto's Sha'arai Shemayim congregation was welcomed with wall-to-wall -wall attendance and two standing ovations. What the root of anti-Semitism is all about, it's about people who are in rebellion against God. And they use anti-Semitism to attack God and to rebel against Him. Because after all, if you can discredit the people of God, if you can destroy the people of God, then you have successfully attacked God Himself. I didn't realize that I'd be faced with, you know, death threats and, and constant uh, harassment and, and, and so forth. But, uh, you know, we're do, we do what God tells us to do. Pat Koking, a recognized Canadian Christian leader, believes the current rise in anti-Semitism is a serious warning to Christians. It's a very delicate time. It's a time when nations are going to have to make a decision, and it could be possible every political nation might stand against Israel. Now, if that should happen, God is going to raise up a people called a holy nation, the kingdom of God. There will be a holy nation, a remnant who will stand and support his purposes, concerning his people Israel. There might be tremendous persecution coming. I believe that we need to, to begin to pray into that now and get ready. Clearly the rise in current day anti-Semitism sounds an alarm, but are people listening? Is the Christian community aware of the seriousness of the hour? And will they, through prayer, words and positive actions, loudly proclaim never, no never again?